So what is a ranch, a sheep ranch, without a bum pin during lambing season? Well, at this ranch, they have a huge bum pin because they have lots of sheep. And here they are. Bums. Oh, look at these bums. That one's taking a leak. <clears throat> oh, look, they're all getting some milk. So we have uh, Jamie, who is the wife of the barn manager here, <laughs> to help us explain what's going on here, because I have no idea. I'm just some city dude from Minneapolis. Um, so this is the starter pen. So this is where the fresh bum lambs, are the ones that come right off the mom, uh, go into this pen. It's usually, you know, it's obviously smaller. Yep. There's only one. Um, nipple for them to suck on so they can kind of learn. There's usually not too many in this pen so they don't have to fight for it right away. Mm -hmm. um, they have the heat lamps in case they need um, warm up. Don't want a day like today. It's, <laughs> it's pretty warm. So. Right. And then so she moves into the next pen. The pen I'm standing in right now? So yeah. Then a few more, a couple more nipples. They get start getting green. Oh, some oats over there. And then Yep, and then they just keep advancing until... And into the big pen there. All right, so when I was in here last, um, I was picking up the, the bums and like kind of playing with them. And then your, uh, your father-in-law <laughs> is like, hey, stop that, you're gonna kill the bums. I'm like, what? Like, bums die from anything. So can you elaborate on what he meant by saying that or the Barn manager can explain it himself since he's the sheep master around here. The sheep boss is what they call it in some places. Um, sometimes just overhandling with the lambs. Stuff just, I don't know, stuff gets shook up or they just, I don't know, too much movement or just not being used to being lifted, held, squeezed. I don't know. Just bum lambs, sheep in general, die from random things. Random things. Yes. So if you give bum lambs too much love, you will literally kill them with love. <laughs> Which I was doing, apparently. Basically, that's correct. <laughs> Basically, that's correct. <laughs> Kill them with love. Kill them with kindness. <laughs> <laughs> and so, once they get to this pen, where do they go after this one? Uh, after they've advanced to that far pen where they can kind of eat on their own, we don't have to babysit them, they eat grain, then we open up this gate so they can go out of the barn. Mm -hmm. And they can go eat grass, go around, kind of jump around outside, and can kind of go kind so, of regulate themselves. They can start phasing them into eating grass and like not having as much milk. All right. So at which phase do the bums have the lowest chance of survival? The lowest chance of survival is probably in the first pen, just because okay. we do the best we can. But you can't always force a lamb to drink milk that's not from you. Awesome. Another person might say that after you put a lot of time and work into them and go to the second pen, <laughs> second or third decide pen. to die. Then they go outside and decide to eat grass and I don't know, maybe then something maybe catches them out there. But in my, I don't know, in my experience, the beginners are the ones that have the hardest time making it. Yeah. In my experience, you can kill them with too much love. <laughs> what is this machine right here? This is the actual milk machine where my mom has a water pump, or I guess this is a pump for like a fish tank. Yep. It senses pressure when the pressure inside the tank, because the lambs are drinking right now, mm -hmm. when it gets to low enough, it will kick the pump on, pump water into here, which it has a heater. Yep. And so it heats the milk, which we did. This is, I guess, milk replacer that we dump in the top. There's like a little funnel or screw, and as when the milk gets down far enough, you might be able to see it on the front right here. It's kind of dirty, but right now the milk level is like right here. When it gets down far enough, the machine kind of figures that out, and it you'll hear it kick on here probably shortly, and it'll meter the milk out. The water will get shot in there with it, and 
basically turn it into lamb milk or what they would get from you. Mm-hmm. Yep. These little lammies, they're happy for that milk machine. Or if you enjoy this video, please like it. And if you enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel because look at how cute these things are. <laughs> I gotta be careful to not kill his love. All right.